Hello everyone and welcome to Road to Red Bull. No longer Jules Bianchi, we've changed ships to Catrum and it's Alexander Rossi's turn for that glorious road on F1 2013 career mode. Now this series basically made my channel in uh, last, well, in fact this year as well. Uh, we're not in 2014 yet but we will be soon and this series pretty much made my, made me who I am now on YouTube in F1. So I thought I might as well bring it back. New man, Alexander Rossi, we're in the Caterham, qualified in 13th here in Australia. Not a bad qualifying actually, very, very good for uh, Caterham to be getting there. Just, you know, we are on Legend AI and um, I uh, I think everything's, yeah, just Legend, all the Legend settings, no flashbacks, uh, automatic gears. You can see as I'm running through the setup now. But just so you know, the Davrilo's journey will be continuing. This series is going to be more maybe have two videos maybe a week maybe not that it will be an uh, in the blue out of the blue series i don't want to make this my main focus series because i've already got career mode that's going uh, that's going for a while and that's, that's going to go on for a while but this one basically we have the goal if you don't know last time season uh, series one we have to call it now series one uh, back in f uh, f1 2012 um we had jules bianchi and sadly we couldn't make it to red bull but because the game uh, the game just got boring and we couldn't finish the series. But we're away here in Australia with Alexander Rossi. Maybe we'll get this man to Red Bull in um, more successful, uh, more successfully than Jules did. Because Jules is now at Marussia for some reason. Going into the first corner. No contact, but almost contact. Overtaking a Ferrari there. So, not a bad job. He's up into ninth position. Duresta now getting past him. And Duresta there giving a bit of a love tap as he goes through. But then he just cuts on the inside. And then a bit of contact on Grosjean. Uh, very early breaking from the two low. Notices, but Sergio, uh, not Sergio, oh god no, I can't be doing this, oh god, I said Sergio, I knew I was going to do it, uh, Alexander has got himself up into 6th position, oh, I'm sorry about that, I, I know I was going to do it, I kept on doing it when uh, F1 2013 came out, I kept on calling uh, uh, Sergio De Villo, Jules Bianchi, and um, that's my personal mistake, I'll get used to it, I'll have to uh, realise that Sergio is in a Ferrari, and uh, Alexander is in a Catrum, so I have let a little bit of Easter eggs go through on this series, I have said and put in the Formula 101 trailer a few clips that meant maybe a little bit of a spoiler going to it, but nobody seemed to pick up on it, and I'm fine with that because a bit of a surprise for you. Uh, if you guys could pound the like button, and I don't know, I remember on the previous one we got like 22 likes on the first episode of Series 1. As we see, there a nice little battle between Rossi and Grosjean on lap two, uh, from lap 2 going into 3, and you can see the Alexander train. It used to be the Bianchi train, now it's the Alexander train. You can see quite spread out there, lap, f uh, lap 4 coming into the pits, and it's a long, long way to the Catron box, but it's a short exit as well. So so he's made his way through and he's got his tyres, there go the prime tyres, a nice new fresh set of prime tyres sporting that red helmet. I was going to go for the, like he has like a United States one but I think the red one shows off a little bit more. So I will try and mix up the helmets, I'll do like a Vettel one and go up to standard fuel mixture. He's down in 19th position and you can see how much more successful, there's Jules Bianchi and Jules Bianchi hasn't yet pitted. So he's got some fuel in reserve using some curves there, but he needs to try and jump some cars. Lap 7, he's lost out a few positions to Grosjean and Massa, cutting in the corner there, trying to gain an advantage because he's desperate for that position. He's now shunted down in 8th, uh, so he's actually not lost many places, but you can see the Lotus and Ferrari, who have significantly more pace compared to the Caterham, have jumped him, and he's actually keeping up there. But on lap 15, the tyres are absolutely destroyed. You can see he's actually made a bit of a gap. Grosjean's pulled away, and he's pulled away from the rest of the pack, but the rest is holding up with him. The tyres are bright red. His helmet is more is a lighter shade of red than them tyres are. Going in, you can see he's struggling there. Hasn't got any grip at all, and he's just taking it round. You can see, look at the understeer there. He's taking it very carefully. He's saved all of his curves just for this moment. Paul the rest are now coming through. What's he going to do? And Alexander gets across the line, Safely in eighth position, picking up a fantastic four points for the team. Charles picked down in 19th. Not bad for Charles. It could have been in last spot, so I'd have to take a bonus away from that. I don't think there was any retirements from this race, but obviously being the first race of the season, uh, he picks up four, four points and is in eighth spot in the tables. So no changes there. Pastor Maldonado picking up a point. Perez finishing down in 11th. Kimi Raikkonen was down in 12th, which is a, a quite a big, big surprise there. So that's how it ended, and you can see the team are a picking up four points so it could be a good season for the Catron boys. Guys at this point I'd like to say thank you for watching my name is OTG and I'll see you very very shortly for more Road to Red Bull. Bye guys.